flaky puff pastry filled with custard, and not any custard, a rich chocolate custard. Mm. Thomas, this sounds really good. <laughs> it's a great combination of textures. It's one of those really old classic French pastries, I and I think we need to get them back on trend. Yeah, so let's start with the pastry. Yeah, these absolutely. are just adorable. Uh, my mother loves making these still. Oh, <laughs> I still, I used to get them for lunch as a kid as well, oh, yes. with the savoury filling. Yeah. But, you know, let's take it up a notch. So what we're making, it's actually called the Buis d'Amour, mm. which is, translates the well of love. So we're going to fill oh. that Voulemont with delicious custard, hide a little bit of jam in the bottom as well, and then we're actually going to brulee the top as well. So definitely one of those things that everybody should be making and let's make a yes. new trend of this. Could I please ask you to separate the eggs for this one? So we're actually going to use five egg yolks. Okay. And I will get the milk on. And I'm going to use half of the sugar I'm going to put in with my milk to get okay. that boiled. And I'm going to use the other half just to mix with our egg yolks as well. Okay, so we've got our egg yolks in one bowl. We've got egg whites in the other. Don't throw that in the bin. Just pop them into container, into the freezer. Fantastic oh, for a meringue. Beautiful. Maybe a chocolate meringue. Why Absolutely. <laughs> Another classic. So we can put the corn flour in there as well. So instead of using custard powder, this just uses corn flour. Mm -hmm. uh, we use uh, the rest of the sugar as well. We can put a bit of vanilla in there as well. But this again is like one of those really versatile recipes as well. So at Christmas time, I turned this into a, a Christmas spice chocolate custard as well and put some gingerbread spice into Ooh, it as yes. well. So that's actually a really good base for a lot of different desserts. Now, talk us through how we've made these gorgeous volavon. Volavon is basically just a little stack of puff pastry mm -hmm. circles. So we use a round cutter to make a base. Mm -hmm. And it's always best to use and work with the puff pastry when it's not quite defrosted yet. So yes. not fully frozen, but sort of half defrosted. And if you didn't have time to make the vol from scratch, of course you can buy them from the store. There's some really good quality ones out there. Absolutely. So right. our milk is ready now. So okay. what I do, I temper our egg mixture a little bit. So I put part of this in just to bring this up and then we return it all. Makes it much easier with two people, exactly. doesn't it? It does. Yes. And then you can bring that straight in here, we return it to the fire and actually cook out our cornstarch. Very good. And in the meantime, I might just get you to unwrap those yes. blocks of chocolate for me. So sea salt. I like yes. it. So it's just uh, little flakes of uh, hand harvested fleur de sel sea salt. From, we actually use it from the west coast of France. So it's rather than just salty, it has that sort of round, beautiful, rich umami flavour. Mm, so. Very nice. I just always find that it's nice to teach people about the importance of salt and chocolate together yes. and how it heightens the flavour of the chocolate so much. It sounds maybe a little bit chefy, but when you actually season chocolate, it really just sort of levels out the bitterness, it brings out the richness and the, and the yeah. cocoa notes, so it makes a massive difference. Oh, well, that's thickening up quite quickly, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. So we just only need to cook it a little bit further just to sort of cook out that sort of raw corn flour flavour as well. Yeah, there's nothing worse than getting a custard where you can actually taste the corn flour. And you can, if you don't take it just a little further by cooking it out as Thomas is doing there. And you can see like with corn flour, you actually get that really nice sort of glossy, glossiness already to it. So we can put that straight in. Okay. That's actually good as well because it will take away the heat ah, okay. from the custard. Great. So this will be all in. And just for a little bit of richness and that melt, we add a little bit of butter as well. Oh, why not? Everything is better with butter. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more, Thomas. <laughs> and we put this in a bowl, allow it to cool completely in the fridge. Exactly. Uh, one of the really good tricks is make sure that there's cling film straight to the surface yes. of the custard. Yep. Otherwise, you sort of end up getting a bit of a skin on top and we're all set. Great. Okay, we've 
we've got all our elements ready to go. So yep. we just assemble these. So I've got the custard cool. Yes. Now in the bottom, we're going to place a little bit of raspberry jam. So I might get you to uh, put in a little bit of violet extract. Oh, so wow. we just bring a bit of floral sort of luxury note mm. to it as well. We probably just want five drops or so, I think is good. One, two, three. Uh, Four, five. <laughs> then a good trick as well is because it does puff in the middle of it as well. So I push just the center of our little volumont pastry cases as well. And it gives us a bit more room to put custard and things inside as well. Well, it is called a well, so it should be quite deep. <laughs> exactly, it is. So maybe just a little bit of a teaspoon in the bottom of each would be amazing. And then we top it all up with this beautiful rich chocolate custard. So about that much? I love it. That's perfect. It's like a little surprise exactly. when you crack so into it. So that's the d'amour part of it. Mm, the love part. <laughs> and a little more. Nice. So for a little element of surprise, mm -hmm. we're going to put a tiny little square of Excellence chilli in there as well. Oh, wow. Just into each chilli, raspberry, chocolate, one of those really good combinations. Flavours that I would actually not even think or consider putting together to work. Yeah. yeah. Violet, chilli, jam, chocolate, but why not? Yeah, bring it to the <laughs> test. And then we really... I have the piping bag with a nice big hole, so we just fill this right to the top. Do you want me to hold that? That'd be perfect. There we are. Gorgeous. And that's a generous dessert, right? Sure is. You would need only one of those because <laughs> they're quite rich. And then to actually sort of brulee the top, I get you to sprinkle just some of the sugar. And this is demerara sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's like a unrefined sugar again. And then we actually just torch this as well to get that little brulee effect. So you get the caramel, that bitterness as well. Is that enough sugar? That's perfect. Yep. I think that's good. Okay. So we really just brulee this. Ooh. Just the sugar, and then we're good to go. Oh, oh the smell of that is great. And then just to give that little nod to the violet that you put into the raspberry jam, I got some crystallised violet petals as well. So we just wow. put a few of these on as well. Again, you get that bit of crunch, you get that beautiful sort of floral note again, and it just looks pretty as well. Thomas, where can you get these little violet petals? You find them now in sort of cake decorating shops yep. or specialty shops. If you Google it, you'll find it. And there we go. Yes. The well of love. So romantic, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Justine. Why don't you have a taste? Oh, yes, please. Now, I guess we should probably cut into it. <laughs> Let's have a look. Serrated knife. Ooh. Crisp. Wow, look at that. I just love how the jam is just poking at the side there. Half for me, half for you. <laughs> there we go. Cheers. Ooh, cheers. I love that. I have chocolate on my nose. <laughs> mm. Mm. That is truly spectacular. If you want to make a little treat for someone you love, this must be on your go-to list.